This series of videos will show you how to assign homework in first class, how to collect it, and how to grade it. The advantage to this, of course, is that you always have a record of all the assignments that have come in and all of your returned comments. In addition to that, the comments that you send out will have a lot more content in them. It's easier to cut and paste comments back to several students. Also, you can have links to outside resources. And most of all, next year when you do the same course, you'll have all of your homework assignments already set up and they'll be easy to assign because all you have to do is pull them into next year's class folder. The first video here will show you how to set up the assignments to, to be completed. Now, I'm going to use World Studies as an example, and this is what the World Studies conference looks like. It has a calendar, the hand in, and a documents folder. Now, I always have in the front here the current work. In my documents folder, if we want to take a look at that, these are previous units. I always pull this stuff out of the way to leave them in archives here so they don't get in the way. This is all the stuff we're working on currently. And you can see these homework assignments all have a format that's uniform. They all have homework, a number, a title of the assignment, and the due date. And the reason that you want to make sure that you come up with a format that's uniform is it's easier for students to, to complete and it's easier for you to keep track of. And also the appearance of these homework assignments is also uniform. They always have World Studies homework, the title on the side, a little icon, the pages, and the questions underneath. So for any assignment that a student looks at, it'll look pretty much the same. You don't have to do this, but you can understand that as you're setting up your homework, as you're setting this stuff up, you're sort of setting the personality for your class. As your students walk into your classroom and they expect it to look a certain way, your homework assignments, the font, the pictures, the way it looks, is really setting the personality for your class. And mine, of course, might be pretty dull, but at least it's, it's uniform. They know what to expect. When you post homework assignments, what you want to do is set it as new document. And then you choose blank document. And you get to set it up any way you want. And this is, you just type in your assignment and then you save and close. When you're titling it there, that is where you're going to type in whatever name that you have, whatever setup that you have for your name of assignment. And then click Save. And you'll see right there, there's Homework 1, Name of Assignment. If you want to change any of this, just right click on that title and choose Properties and that will allow you to change the title of the document and in the subject line put in the due date and then click OK and then it will be set up like that. Now for students to complete the assignment they'll just open up the assignment and here's homework one they can use control A to highlight everything or do edit select all and then either edit copy or control C what they want to do is just copy the whole homework assignments. Then they're going to close it and then go into the hand-in folder because that's where they're going to complete their homework. They open up hand-in, they choose new message, and that gives them a blank message and they're going to click paste. And this is where they type their assignments in. They type in their type in their answers. Right underneath the questions. Now, yeah, it makes sense, it's wise to teach them that they have to use the same subject line for every homework assignment, meaning that they have the same format. So I ask them to highlight that name, Homework 1, Dawn of the Industrial Age, that they highlight the title and then paste it into the subject line. And the reason for this is when I'm grading, I want to see all of these homeworks with the same name. Students, uh, if you're going through a whole bunch of assignments, you need to have the same name for every homework assignment and that way it's easier to keep track just the same format and then when they're done they send and close and that's how they submit their homework 